it's spooled. Fish is here. Head shakes. Oh yeah, that's a nice walleye. I can't. Let's oh. go for it, go for it. Nice, yes! Let's go. Let's go! What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. So today, we've got an adventure. A real adventure this time. We're up here. If you guys are seeing this video, uh, you read the title and we're walleye fishing. Hopefully we catch some fish. I don't know, but again, if you're seeing this, we caught fish. But what we got going on today is we checked the lake, well, this specific lake about two days ago and it was already completely locked. So we're like, oh, okay, we'll give it a few more days here and uh, it should be good to go. Okay, well, we show up today, they've gotten four inches of snow. Um, the middle is wide open with some flowing water. I see some waves ripping and yeah, shorelines are kind of junk. So that's where we're at. Now, hearing that information, you're probably like, well, what are you doing? Well, we're still going fishing, you see, but we're gonna take uh, the ultimate precautions. Now, I will say, I'm just gonna get rid of this disclaimer right off the bat because I can already see the comments rolling in. Yes, I'm an idiot. I understand I'm an idiot. I understand I could fall in, but I don't care. That's why you guys are clicking on this video to see me do the stupid stuff and not you. I have my floating Eskimo suit on. I got a spot bar. I got a buddy. I got my picks. I'm not gonna die out here, but I'm gonna entertain you guys. So I'm gonna keep on walking. What we're doing here is I'm walking the shoreline until I find a spot that looks kind of decent. And yeah, I'm just gonna walk like 20 feet out get about four or five feet of water, set a flag, and then come back on the shore. Yeah, we'll keep on walking until we find the first spot to go up. I'm gonna attempt to walk out right here, I think. So, a few steps that I gotta take before I do that. Take a minnow. We're using walleye suckers tonight. Throw that right in the pocket. I heard they really like being out of water, so that's where he's going. Next, I've got tip-up lights. That is in the other pocket. Got a tip up and spud bar. Now, I'm gonna have Brandon follow me. I'm gonna walk down here and see if I can get out on this side of the lake. How are we feeling? You see that right there? Check it out. Some nice open water. Doing a lot of safe things out here today. Let me just set that down. Oh, good. Mmm. Yeah, that's real good. Let me see what how much ice we're working with right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, maybe an inch and a half right here. We might have to go down a little bit more because we're gonna have to come out here after dark to uh, get a flag if it goes up. So, you know, <laughs> if this isn't frozen, then I'm not getting my tip up back, so. Let's go ahead, let's try to find a little safer spot. Gotta take the tree, that's the secret. I don't know. <laughs> God, I don't think this is gonna work for you. Looking pretty soft over there. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. This is a lot of work. You better catch one walleye. That's all I want. Just one measly walleye. Heard that's what you want to hear. I feel like if you can just get off, it'll be decent. God, I feel like I'm gonna go in. <laughs> I don't care what the depth is here.
All right, step one is done. I made it out. That's a lot further than I thought I was gonna make it. See how far down we are here, depth wise. Yep, not very deep. We're maybe dealing with four feet of water. We'll have to see if our minnow is alive here. Oh, he's kicking. He is fired up. And just like that, we have our first flag set. How I'm gonna get back to this if it goes up? No idea. I guess, oh my God, this is terrible. I'm letting open some water here because it is supposed to get in the single digits tonight. So our plan was put them in, it gets dark, it freezes this path, then we can go out here. I know, big brain, hopefully that works. Oh my God. <laughs> that one's bad. That one is bad. <laughs> One flag. One flag, five more to go. I don't know if we're gonna get five, I'm gonna be honest. But we were at that tough spot. Uh, we were way up north today and we were doing some filming on a different lake earlier. And instead of going home, we're like, well, you know, we banked on this being frozen enough for us to get out here and catch a fish. So I'm not gonna bore you guys uh, putting the other flags. Brandon probably will be recording though if I fall in, but we're gonna go ahead, set the rest of the flags, head back to the truck and then, I don't know, we're gonna start playing the waiting game and hopefully we can get the first walleye of the 2023-2024 season. Well, I actually don't believe it, but I managed to get all six tip-ups out. Again, it is Brandon and I, so three each up here in Northern Wisconsin. And we were able to actually put two off of this point up here. The ice was just a little bit thicker. I'd say this probably has like a solid, solid two, maybe two and a half, so two out here. We got four in there. Obviously you saw me setting those and those are super sketchy. Um, so if those go up, it's gonna be very, very interesting. These I feel a little more confident. Um, but again, I don't know if there's gonna be any walleyes, but yeah, we got all the lines set. Now, I guess it's the waiting game. The moon is starting to rise right now. It's supposed to be a cold front night tonight, so not ideal, but the only positive to that is that there won't be any cloud cover, which means the moon will be exposed, which normally come on a full moon while you're walleye fishing, you do pretty good, so. Oh, tip up, right behind us. Oh boy, first tip up and uh, uh, it's not these that are in the safe ice. I see that it's one of those real sketchy ones. So I guess <laughs> we're gonna walk on over, see how I get out there. Hopefully it froze a little bit more. And I don't know, maybe we'll catch the first walleye of the season. Oh God. Spread out. This thing is covered. It's locked to the ice. <laughs> ah, okay. Well. Man. First one is a false flag. We still got a long night ahead of us. This one was the first flag. I mean, we just got set up and this one already went. So hopefully it won't be too long and whatever hit can come back. Seems like the ice is actually getting thicker. Our big brain move actually seems like it's somewhat working because I pushed a bunch of water on here when I set this flag and it's actually all froze and already holding me. So that added like another half inch to an inch. So maybe give it another hour or two, maybe Brandon can actually venture out and uh, <laughs> actually come out here and film or catch a fish. I don't want to be the only one doing this, but I also don't want him going in. So we'll see. Alrighty guys, well, we're walking through the woods. We just got our third flag. This one's on the point. Looks like it's the farther one that's up. Oh goodness. Woo! Oh no, it's the closer one. Wait a minute. Hang on. Oh yeah, no, wait, dude, they're both up. They're both up. We have 
two flags out here on the point. And <laughs> they're both up. Let's freaking go. This one looks like it's here. The hole is frozen. Not ideal here. Wait, what the? What the? <laughs> this is. This thing got tangled. It he never. Was right there. It was never able to pull this out. <laughs> I caught a walleye. <laughs> that was crazy. That thing only had like a foot of line. It must have got all frozen. No, this thing is like wrapped around because the leader is so shallow here that the leader was wrapped up in the spool. Oh. Hold on, let me get this guy unhooked quick. First walleye of the night. First walleye of the season. Not a giant, probably like a 17 inch walleye. A little bit different than last year's first walleye. That one happened to be like a nine pounder. This one, just a nice little eater. Speaking of eaters, I know you guys don't see us do this a ton on the channel, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat this one. I don't know, I've been grinding these last couple nights, grinding tonight for a flag. And again, we don't eat a ton of walleye, but perfect size like that, it's not gonna hurt the population at all. So that one's gonna be coming home. We still got that other flag here. I caught one for the night, so now it's Brandon's turn. We're gonna let that one freeze up. We're gonna reset this. Let's head over to that flag and see if we can get another one. Now well, we got a little bit to bust through there. There's the leader, and I'm feeling minnow, I think. Yep. All right, well, that one got away on us. Luckily, we got the first one of the night. Took it into the weeds, it looks like, a little bit. It's making ice. I mean, look at that. We got almost an inch of ice just in our holes already. We'll go ahead, we'll get this set back up, and maybe we'll get one more flag before we head out tonight. Okay. Well, here we are. <laughs> At this point, I'm not sure how many flags you guys have seen. We may show them all. We might go home and edit some footage and try to trim this down. But we are currently batting I think one for six or one for seven, not great. But I am about to knock this one out of the park and turn this thing around, okay guys? Ah, it's tough, tough cold front bite. It's spooled. Actually? Yes. Oh my God. Fish is here. He's here? Yep. Oh my god. He's here and it's spool. Oh, it's too close to you. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. That's why you pay attention to the majors, I guess. Yep. Wow. How's it feel? It feels okay, but it's really hard to tell. I may need another boot in this if you don't mind. Swim out deep. Look at this line just going out deep. I'm gonna take a step back. Oh, he's close, he's close, he's close. That might need another boot. I don't know. Yep, that's good enough. I think. He's close. Head shakes. Oh yeah, that's a nice walk. Oh, oh, hold it. Oh man. I can't. Oh, go for it, go for it. Nice. Let's go, baby. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. That is what we came out here for. Just a fatty. Wow. That is freaking awesome. I'm not going to waste too much time. We're going to go ahead, grab the players, start operating on them right away, get that hook out of there. Whoo, you guys. I'm jacked out of my mind right now. Take a look at that, guys. That's currently how much ice that we are on right now. It's firmed up, so we're both out here now, but oh my. <laughs> oh, that's what it's all about, baby. Alrighty, guys. Man, what a nice fish. Wow. 
take a look at these colors. What a beautiful fish. That is awesome. I'm gonna guess this fish is right around, God, it's gotta be almost 25 inches. It's a real nice fish. Absolute beauty. Nick put in a ton of time searching for ice in northern Wisconsin while I was finishing up the deer season. Man, this is crazy. Yo, there we go. Just gotta get that tail wet, and there's the tail wave goodbye. Let's go. Did that just happen, bro? Not a giant, but that's a for solid the size fish. of this lake, the fact that we're even ice fishing is incredible. I am way to start the season. Bro. I'm almost be speechless, man. That is. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. I mean, inch and a half, maybe. <laughs> Call us crazy. We are insane. We know we're insane. Oh, I'd like to say doing the impossible out here. This is nuts. Not the super safest thing in the world, we get it, but we are in super shallow water. We've been to this lake, we know what we're doing, we've got a buddy. I'm not saying replicate what we do, but guys, it is awesome to be out here. We are absolutely grinding for you. We want this content so bad this year, and we got it. We, we've, we've got a mess to clean up, but we got it, baby. Big walleye, oh, what a great way to start the season. Let's freaking go, baby. I don't believe it. Tip up number 10. <laughs> and it's gonna be the final one. I don't care what happens here. We catch a walleye, we don't catch a walleye. We're picking it up and we're heading out. But we got another flag. Yeah. It was about 10 minutes after that last one that I had. And then about five minutes, you know, before that, you've got that nice one. Yep. So, no movement, but we'll see. This, of course, is frozen in. Because why wouldn't it be? It's so cold, though. Four degrees out, I heard. It's really good. Well, not much line out. Not a great sign. It was like something very tiny. Like a very tiny walleye. Like what I had before, maybe? Even oh. smaller. <laughs> oh, dude, that's rare for out here. Wow. I thought the one that I caught was a great sign of reproduction. Oh, no. This one is a great sign of reproduction, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this could be... This could be what we've been getting all night. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Cause this thing, I don't know how this minnow is in its mouth. Cause we usually tend to get bigger walleye suckers on the verge of pike suckers, um, just for those bigger bites. But yeah, I don't know how he got this one. I don't know how well you can see this, but this minnow is bigger than his face. Glass walleye, I caught two tonight. Both giants. I think both of my fish combined probably equal about the length of what Brandon caught. <laughs> but you know, you can't always catch a giant. And honestly, seeing the smaller year class out of here, that's awesome. That's actually great because we haven't seen, I have never caught a walleye that small out of this lake ever. I've never even seen one. No. And that thing probably spawned in the last two years, I would think. Right. I don't know how long it takes for a walleye to get 10 inches, but. Yeah, probably. Probably not very long. I think that's gonna do it for us out here, guys. We got this one picked up and we got a few others to pick up as well. But again, just wanted to give a huge shout out to Eskimo before we go. Obviously, Nick and I are both rocking the full suits, the jackets, everything underneath. It's been keeping us super warm so far this year and uh, it did last year as well. What a great crew to be working with. Awesome guys. If you guys are interested in any of their products, make sure to check out their website. You can also go to the shows. We're gonna be at the St. Paul show this weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're gonna be at the Frostbite booth, but on Friday, 
uh, probably from like four to six, maybe a little bit after that, I believe we're gonna be stopping down over at the Eskimo booth. So you guys can come down to the St. Paul show, come say hi. Uh, obviously we'd love to hang out with you guys, get to meet some of you. Uh, we've had a lot of viewers that have been saying, you know, it'd be awesome to meet up with you out on the ice or whatever. And honestly, coming to the shows would be just a fantastic opportunity to do that. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to slap that thumbs up button for us. We'd greatly appreciate it. Share with your friends and family. Make sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. If you are new to our channel, we've got a ton of ice fishing content coming this year. So hang tight. It's, uh, it's here, guys. Ice fishing officially 2023, 2024, baby. This is walleye where, season. This is where it really starts for us. Woo! We're walleye grinders. Grinders. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Tight lines from NB Edits.